Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, we're trying to make um, make it make sense on Lizzo being fat shamed by Aries Spears. I'm like, did he not look at himself? in the mirror did he not look at himself in the mirror i get so tired of people going to people weight whether they shaming them because they too thin or they shaming them because they too fat and he definitely don't need to be talking about nobody's fatness when he ain't looking too skinny himself okay but we got people magazine brought out this article um and we're going to talk about it that's what we do and uh, we're going to get right on into it. We had Alexandria Schoenfield from People Magazine put out an article on their platform. And they titled it, Lizzo Seems to Respond to Comedian Airy Spears on VMA's stage after his fat shaming comments. I'm not going to say anything Lizzo said on Sunday, noting that the best revenge was her success. Lizzo delivered a message for her hates or haters on Sunday night's MTV Video Music Award. She's a winner. Okay. While accepting the award, or while accepting her award in the video for good category, 34-year-old about damn time singer thanks fans for supporting me and loving me before calling out her critics. And now for the bitches that got something to say about me in the press, she said in a call back to Nicki Minaj's nearly identical 2015 VMA's opener. You know what? I'm not going to say nothing. They be like, Lizzo, why don't you clap back? Why don't you clap back? Cause, bitch, I'm winning, ho. Lizzie said to thunderous applause, big bitch is winning. Hot best revenge is your paper, bitch. Okay, all right then, girl. She later posted a clip of her speech to her Twitter account, cheekily writing, keep my name in your mouth because I know it tastes good, bitch. Oh, girl. And we know who she was talking about. She was talking about that gentleman right there. I should say not gentleman, but it just is what it is, okay? And um, related comments were, uh, Liz Lizzo says she's so much more than her body. It's not a trend. Uh, the Truth Hurts singer's comments come days after comedian Aries Spears made body shaming remarks about her in an interview with The Art of Di Dialogue. When asked about Lizzo's music, Spears said, I can't get past the fact that she looks like the S emoji. Okay, meaning the shit emoji. He responded, she's got a very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body off. Like, come on, you know. I'm sorry, listening. He said, explaining that while he's not the most in shape, he is funny, has swagger, and confidence, and is at least decent looking enough to attract the opposite sex. I'm like, uh, from what I see, I uh, no. <laughs> You're pretty much at the bottom of the barrel. And then with this fucked up attitude you having towards fat people, when you're clearly overweight, you would be called a beast. Or, what do you call it? Obesity. You would be in that range if you went to the doctor. That's where they would categorize you. And I know so well because I'm in that category. Do I like it? The term? No, I do not. But are they accurate? Yes, I'm overweight. Can't defeat that. Can't defend that. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, I think I'm at least handsome. He said, adding a woman that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes is in trouble. I'm saying to myself, uh, you look like the second plate of mashed potatoes, uh, Aries. Are you kidding me? You come out to a defenseless woman about body shaming and you're up there looking like a hot 
play the shit yourself, son, sit your ass down. Sit, you ain't met the right one that can get you together. But I'm, I'm game. I am definitely game to try and prove the point that you look like a pile of shit as well. While you calling people piles of shit, you are the Academy Award winning pile of shit. All right. But anyway, going on, he then went on call. He went on call out the hypocrisy in women who praise body confidence and sisterhood but won't discuss health risks like diabetes, heart problems, heart disease, and cholesterol. No, we are addressed by those. We know very well about uh, diabetes, cholesterol, whatever. But, you know, it comes down to the time where, hell, you know you only have a designated time left on this earth and it's not you nor man. Or woman that's going to predict when you're going to be meeting your maker, okay? It's all been pre-planned uh, and pre-dealt out. Who's living, leaving on what day, when, what month, and, and what year, okay? It's already been preordained. We just don't know about it. Or we'll be doing something to try to run away from that particular deadline, okay? So, no, everybody knows about the health risks. Hell, there's health risks with people drinking alcohol. There's health risks with people smoking, Okay, so don't say people don't know or they're not trying. That's not necessarily the truth because you got to talk about how this food is being prepared as well for those who like to eat out a lot. What's wrong? What, what, Austin? Huh? Huh? He couldn't make it upstairs. That's a shame. He, that's a shame. But anyway, I'm sorry I had to um, talk about my video while I was asking where my son was. But it just is what it is. We do things like that. Um, but anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, everybody knows about the health risk. Everybody knows about heart disease. Everybody knows about high cholesterol and diabetes. You beat us over the head with it. We got tired of uh, uh, dealing with it pretty much. Hell, let life let live, okay? But anyway. And it says, y'all would jump on me for making jokes, but y'all won't effing be real and go, sister, put the eclair down. This ain't it. It's treadmill time. Well, okay. Well, what can we say about you, Aries Spears? You ain't looking so hot to try it yourself, and you're damn tipping over the scales from what I see on this video of the pictures I tried to salute you with. But it seems like you're in the same bag of tricks and trail mix with Lizzo boo okay you could trim down a whole hell of a lot too and sometimes we don't pick at men because they fat or whatnot we already know they know they look at the mirror they wash their ass each and every day so they are confronted with what is what when it comes down to the fat but that was just me going off tangent again let me get back on the story it says Lizzo has been open about her struggles with body image in the past and has long been an advocate for a positive body image encur encouraging her followers to embrace their bodies at any size she's also called out those who assume those with larger bodies automatically have health issues saying health does not just determine on what you look like on the outside what really bothers me are the fake doctors in the comments saying oh you have this or you might have this condition no what if i'm just fat what if this is just my body she said last march bodies are not all designed to be slim with the six pack you know what i mean the March Lizzo spoke to people for a cover story on the women's change in the world issue about feeling proud in their own skin despite what critics have to say. I think I have a really hot body. I'm a body icon and I'm embracing that more and more every day, she said at the time. It may not be one person ideal's body type just like, say, Kim Kardashian might not be someone's ideal, but she's a body icon and I have created a modern day beauty standard. And what I am doing is stepping into my confidence and my power to create my own beauty standard. And one day, that will be the standard. Okay? As for her critics, Liz Lizzo noted in an interview with Zane Lowe on Apple Music, one, that haters use her as some sort of punchline because there's levels to me 
that they don't accept. I found that I'm always going to receive some sort of backlash or criticism whenever I put myself in a public space just because of who I am and the way I choose to exit or exist, she said. She also noted that people use negativity as clout and attention because it makes them feel good and in turn she tried her best not to pay them any mind. I'm trying to distance myself from even looking at those people and reading those comments, she said, admitting it's been very difficult because I just feel I can't escape. Ooh, Lizzo, you said a mouthful for the fat folks. Girl, you said a mouthful, but you got thick skin such as me. You own your shit. It's just we like to eat. You know, what we eat, it's not like we eat triple portions of whatever we're eating. Sometimes we just have that one, and that body fat just seems to store and won't go nowhere. And who likes to exercise? Only people that like to exercise are people that have been trained to exercise since birth. You understand what I'm saying? It's a love for them. It's not a challenge or anything. They just love to be out there exercising their bodies 24-7 and eating properly. And sometimes eating uh, some questionable things, all right? But, um, yeah, I concur with uh, Lizzo. You ain't got time to be fussing with every person that want to come and talk to you about your weight. Hell, you already got yourself being yourself down. You already got some family members tearing you down. Damn, you don't need everybody else to be doing the same because they have this perception or idea that you just sit around the house, don't do anything, don't try to do any exercise, and eat terrible. Like you got a food grocery truck backing up at your garage door waiting to just bring in food for the masses and you're going to be partaking of the majority of it. I mean, really, really, people got to start thinking a little smarter and stop trying to body shame people. Okay, it just is what it is. Let's talk about how they prepare these foods to be raised. Okay. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about genetic modifying food can we have a conversation about that can we have a conversation why is it that healthy foods meaning in the full food group courses or uh, categories why is it more expensive to eat healthy than it is to eat bad okay well you got people that's not making a lot and they have to make uh, ends meet they have certain money constraints that they can't always buy the fruits and the vegetables. You see what I'm saying? And the lean meats. They have to get what McDonald's or Burger King or any other fast food joint is asking for you to come and partake of their uh, their meals or their food because it's lesser than preparing stuff that's organically grown or nature grown, I should say, with no pesticides, no additives. Uh, added into the mix of growing that particular product why is it you tell me so it seems like everything that's good for you they make it hard to even try to get a hold of it and make it a part of your daily life of living okay can you can you talk to me people can you talk to me once you figure those two things out then we can really have a complete conversation because little that is known about exercise i know about exercise and then eating right and stuff of that nature but the shit gets tiring because i don't like to exercise even when i was staying in high school i never liked it participating in anything that would cause me to sweat people okay so i was already null and void on that situation already you hear me do you hear me good i didn't want to sweat all right and it always was an event that you would have to be a part of that made you be outside in the heat, okay, with the mosquitoes, with you just smelling funky. And you know you smell funky. You ain't got to never let nobody come up to you and say, ooh, you need to go take a shower. No, because you already know you funky because, hell, you out there in the sun trying to make it do what it do on whatever you're doing, whether you're in the band or whether, like, I was a major red or you just out playing sports. You know what I'm saying? Shit gets filthy and nasty and you get stinking. Now, who in their right mind want to be doing all that when it calls yourself to be exercising and half if not more over the people that are talking this shit about oh you could do this you could do that they taking supplements even the gurus and the health experts that try to train you and tell you they are taking steroids they are taking 
fight uh, fat blocking pills uh, they take things for their metabolism so they're throwing all of these supplements in but telling you oh you need to eat right and you need to exercise and then the other half is probably going out getting surgery getting lipo getting that tummy tucked getting that fat sucked out and then they want to call themselves okay now i can get with the agenda of mind over body meaning i can train my thoughts to not eating such food so we can stay uh in line with how we look now so who's really being the faker who's really being the unfaithful one to complete exercise and eating right i'm listening and i'm waiting and i want to hear what you got to say but other than that fat boy sit your ass down you're not a comedian you're not even liked at this point in time it's more so that Aries spirits to sit up sit down and shut the fuck up okay that's pretty much how i feel about this whole thing and that's all i got I ain't got no more y'all get into the comments down below and tell me what y'all thought about uh fat man joe up there looking like he's a comedian acting like he's a comedian but he can't make me laugh and i listened to some of his shit i couldn't laugh and maybe because i'm already biased about the things they saying he's done okay and i've seen it, the skits and they're not funny and they're not like a public service announcement for anything that's good for you to be saying this is what pedophiles do this is what pedophiles look like these are the actions that will definitely get your children in trouble if you leave them with people that have this type of mentality i'm like Aries, sit your ass down sit because you're you're part of it you're part of it you made the skits whether the skits were actually true to form we still don't know but you're looking kind of bad you're sounding kind of bad and we just want you to go to bed pretty much and and don't come out until we ask for you just stay up in the house camp up in the house do whatever you can but don't let yourself come out the door that's what we're trying to say because we don't want to hear from you we don't got nothing for you and we don't want to hear nothing from you okay but that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And y'all get down in those uh, comments. Tell me what y'all felt about it. And don't forget to like the videos and subscribe. And go over to the Jasmine brand. And look at all of her award winning commentary that she do with certain celebrities. Okay. Yep. She's that big. Uh, and you know. Go over there and tell her I sent you. Okay. It might hold weight. Then again it might not. <laughs> Because I'm a little blogger and they have numbers uh, not even in my reach or grasp at this time. But if I keep working hard, I keep coming on the tube every day entertaining y'all. I'm sure I will get that YouTube plaque too that says over, is it over 100,000 views? It's not a million, so it's 100,000 views or uh, on my, uh, not views, but um shit is the subscribers i need to have yeah subscribers i need to have okay in order to get that youtube plaque and hopefully before i leave this world that's something i want to do i want to have and it seems so far off but hey with your help and me keep bringing out commentary to talk about i think we can handle that i think we will before i leave this world at least that's what i'm hoping for anyway <laughs> okay and i will see y'all next time good people next time bye bye